guys and welcome to another video where we'll be doing it the java 8 way you might come across a problem which requires you to combine two arrays together in this video i'm going to show you how to achieve that without using stream functionalities as of java 8 and later on we will use streams to achieve the same results let's look at how to do that i have already created my method right here combine array which takes two parameters array one and array two and to combine them i need to look for the length of each of the arrays and i will do that as such integer length one is equals to array one dot length that's the first variable and i'll do the same thing for the second variable l2 equals to array two dot length okay after this i have to create a new array where i'm going to store the results because we know arrays are of fixed size so i need to create a new array which will have a capacity of length one plus length two so i'm creating my array as such i'm just going to call the array result equals to new string array and its capacity will be as we said length one plus length two that's its capacity after i've created my new array i can go ahead and use a java functionality to copy all the elements from array one and array two into this new array which is called result so i'm going to use system dot array copy and let's just look at this uh, array copy function what does it do okay if you scroll down you see it takes in these parameters you have the source which is the source array then the source position the starting position in the source array then the destination array then the desk position starting position in the destination and the length so we have to give all these parameters now our source array in this case is the first one which is array one then the source position is zero we want to start from zero then the destination array is called result the one we just created then the destination position it should start from zero then the length it should be the length of our first array we have copied the first array now let's go ahead and copy the second array as well it's still going to be system excuse me system dot array copy then here we need to pass array two which is this one then the source position is going to be zero we want to start copying from zero then the destination is going to be resolved then the destination position it should start from l1 because we have already copied uh array one so it should start from l1 and it should end at l2 which is this okay i save everything and instead of returning null i should return result okay now that we have everything right here we are going to call this method in our main method which is right down here as you can see i've already created two arrays name one and name two which i'm going to pass as arguments so control v then i give it name one name two then the objective will be to print this to the console so i need to transform this array into a string and to do that i'm going to use arrays dot to string to string and i'm going to give it this this method okay i can remove this i've transformed it into a string now i can print it to the console using the CISO command which is this one sorry i'm doing a lot of copy and pasting but i hope you get the idea behind it I save everything then I run the application so these are our names here we have been able to combine the two arrays together one two three four five six seven eight elements and then as you can see here we have eight elements everything cool now let's go and use the stream method to achieve the same results I'm going to cancel clean my console and I'm going to comment all of this control 7 I save everything okay to do this using stream functionalities i'm just going to have stream dot concat i need the concat method i need to import this so that i have this method available concat method 
and this method takes into arguments as you can see of type stream I don't have stream so I need to convert my array into stream so array one I need to convert that into stream and do the simple array two so I have dot stream here and I give it my array one then I do the same thing for the second argument I have arrays excuse me arrays dot stream then I give it array two okay we need to remember that this method returns a stream of strings but not an array of strings so we need to convert this into an array of strings and I will call on the to array method and here I need to give it a method which is going to convert that into an array of strings and I'm going to use method referencing as of Java 8 to do that and I will have string an array of strings then with method referencing, I can just put two dots and I put new to tell it, return me a new array of strings. And I think that is it. So I can just return, return this here and it's going to work. I cancel this. I save the application and let's run it to see if it works. Remember, we are calling the method right down here. So it's supposed to work. And we have our results so as you can see we have just one line of code which does the same thing as opposed to one two three four five six lines of code which one is better java 8 of course let me know in the comment section what you think about it your way your approach just share with me i want to learn from you as well thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more videos on java 8 functionalities